Hi friends, how are you? Oh wow, that was a huge, huge delay. I am so sorry for being late. So, all right, I think I should uh, get some water, water, because I was I was losing it. I was actually losing it. So, with that being said, uh, welcome, welcome to another episode. So, um, I am. I am I mean I am happy this is the fi fifth is it fifth yeah fifth fifth episode that I am going um, live on my Facebook page and the journey has been amazing so thank you thank you uh, thank you for being here thank you for giving me your time and thank you for for your for your support so um, I woke up this morning I went to the gym came back home took a shower and I went to to the first day of school so yeah, uh, for the ones that do not know, I am also a student. I am currently studying, I'm, I'm currently doing my, uh, my bachelor in international business and management. And today was the first day of school of my second year. So um, that's pretty exciting. exciting. Uh, what else? Um, that's basically it. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And I wish you uh, a nice week. So, with that being said, I just want to dive in into the content of today. So, last week, I shared about how to enjoy your wedding and not miss any photo. If you haven't seen it yet, you can go to my Facebook page, you can go to my website, and you can, um, and you can, um, and you can see this, this um, Facebook um, live, and also you can also read it on my blog, blog post. So, today, I am going to talk about how to create a wedding photo timeline so sometimes it is hard for us as photographers to take photos of all your details within a super tight schedule however by creating a wedding photo time timeline and combine it with your wedding timeline like your normal timeline that you have um, prepared um, you can ensure that you you will not miss any photos for example, for your prints or for your wedding album. So, um, with that being said, let's dive in into the content of today. So, um, okay, let's say, for example, you have already an idea of how you would like your wedding day to unfold. However, um, there might be some um, small details that you might, that you will have to keep in the back of your mind to, to tie it all together. So um, there are um, around six, five questions that I want you to ask yourself. Like I want you to take some minute and ask, you, ask yourself these kind of questions in order to, to have a better idea how you can combine these two schedules. So the first, questions I want, if the first question I want you to ask yourself is how much time will you spend doing family photos? Also, I want you to ask yourself, what time is a ceremony? I want, to you, I want you to ask yourself, where are you getting ready? What time is a cocktail hour? And what time is the, is the reception? Once you know the answer to these simple questions, you will, you will. Uh, I, I would, I would like you to share this, this answer to these questions with your photographer in order for you both to create a wedding photo timeline. It might be difficult to explain this, so in order for me to explain it a little bit better or to give you a broad idea of what I'm, what I'm talking, what I'm trying to, to say. Um, I decided to to share how I do it, and then maybe you can you can um, use these simple steps at your wedding as well. So this is how I do it. Um, I spend I I normally shoot with a second photographer. I will spend around thirty minutes um, doing bridal party bride um, preparation. I'm sorry. Um, I will spend um, around thirty minutes doing bridal prep. And my second photographer will shoot the groom preparation, uh, and this will this will this is usually the bride um, 
usually the bride takes longer than the groom so i will start first with my with the bride i will take um photos like the shoes the wedding dress the wedding invitation um um, her, um the the bride actually getting in her dress and and also for example um like, like my last wedding um i had some accessories and um, the bride has some accessories that um her grandma gave her so these little details are really it might it might not be that big thing but it is a big thing for the bride so i will try to make sure to document all all details of her wedding day also i will spend um around 30 minutes doing the first look and taking bridal photos I will position like for for the first look for the ones that do not know what a first look is oh. is basically um when the bride and groom see see each other before the wedding ceremony for example the the way I do it is I take my I think the groom I position him um like say for example facing the street and then I I tell the bride to on three, I want you to um, get out and stand right behind of the groom. And on three, let's say for example, it's one, two, three, then the groom will turn around and that will be the first look. And I will take the, um, usually this, this is a really emotional moment. So usually they cry, they smile, they laugh, and I will make sure to document it all. Um, the other, uh, the other, ah, uh, the other point I want to point out is uh, I will spend around thirty to sixty minutes um, with the bride and groom taking their photos. So just bride and groom um, wedding photos, and also I will make sure they have a checklist so we can spend less than thirty minutes doing family photos. And lastly, I will spend around ten minutes taking photos of the ceremony decor. And 15 minutes taking photos of the reception decor based on the answer and based on the answer to the question I just mentioned um, before um, I follow I follow up with my clients and I help them create a wedding photo timeline so this is this is it guys this is actually how I do it it's not a big uh, it's not too much work but I think it's the best way for me um, to document it all the one thing I want is for my my bride and groom to have every every little detail of the wedding documented, and that's that's my top priority. So um, that's the that's the that's the content of today. This is how to create a wedding photo timeline. Also, before leaving, um, I have four points, three points to point out. Um, I am currently giving away, I'm still giving away a uh, one hour free photo shoot. So I w in order for you to participate to win this one hour photo, photo shoot with me, I would like to invite you to sub subscribe to my newsletter. Um, the process is easy. Um, the only thing you have to do is I want you to go to my website, which is stephendecoupa.com. You will see a tab to subscribe to my newsletter. Just enter your name your email address, and that's it. You will be participating participating to, to win one hour free photo shoot with me. Um, secondly, I also, okay, I don't know how I'm going to put this. Um, let's see. As I said before, I started school today. So now I have to combine my business and my school. I don't know how hard it will be. And I don't know how much time it would take me to do all of this. With that being said, um, at the first episode of this Facebook Live series, I started by saying, welcome to my Facebook Live. Um, I'm going to host a five-week um, Facebook Live series. Today is the fifth week. So we're basically at the end of it. However, I have seen that a lot of people are really liking this kind of Facebook Live. So I don't want to stop completely, but it might not be every Monday from today on. 
So maybe I'm, I will be live on Sunday. Maybe I will be live on Wednesday. Maybe I will be live on Friday. I don't know yet. But even on Monday, I can be live on Monday as well. I don't know yet. So um, I'm going to see. I'm currently planning. I'm going to show you. Yes, this is me planning everything. Here's how I plan uh, what I have to do, how much time it will take. And this is my whole schedule of the whole week. So I'm trying to schedule everything pretty well in order for me to give you good content. And that was my point number two. And my last point is I want to invite you to follow me on my social media. So uh, if you haven't done it yet, I would like to invite you to um, to my Instagram. So uh, follow me on Instagram at Steven De Cuba, and also um, like my like my Facebook page. Um, my Facebook page is this one where you're actually seeing this Facebook live, and that's it. That's about it. And to end this Facebook live in a different way. I want to end up by 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 um, by sharing my why. Why am I a wedding photographer? Actually, um, there have been moments that I was feeling extremely tired, um, even while even while working. But the one thing that pushes me at the last minute is knowing how much these pictures mean means mean to my clients life the honor to document the best day of their life is beyond my gratitude thank you guys for being here thank you guys for your constant support and thank you thank you guys for for everything my 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 gratitude, I don't know, my, the, the, I, I'm just honored to be able to document weddings, to document love, to document the best day of my client's life. And with that being said, I would like to thank you for joining me today and I will see you back next week with another Facebook Live and also with another blog post. Thank you for being here, thank you for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. See you guys.